Good evening, I'm Pastor Lisa, and thank you for joining me tonight on our Jam Time. Tonight we're going to learn about World Communion Sunday. World Communion Sunday is celebrated the first Sunday in October, which is the Sunday coming up, October 4th. The tradition be be um, began back in 1933. The idea was to join all Christians around the world in a celebration of unity. This coming Sunday, Christians around the world will celebrate Holy Communion together in their own churches, but as a symbol of Christian unity. Our scripture from the Bible tonight is from the New Testament, and it's one of Paul's letters to the Corinthians, and it's 1 Corinthians 10, 17. Since there was one loaf of bread, we who are many are one body, because we all share that one loaf of bread. For our Lego creation, and maybe you can make your own church setting, I made different churches representing different places around the world. And here in the middle, I have Jesus and the, his followers um, sharing the bread. When Jesus said, um, this is my bread which I have here for you, my body, broken for you, take and eat. Jesus' body was broken and bruised when he died on the cross for us because he loved us so much and wants to offer us forgiveness. Jesus also shared his cup of wine, which a lot of churches use grape juice, and some churches use other drinks. Jesus said, this is my blood shed for you. Drink this in remembrance of me. So on World Communion Sunday, we share Holy Communion together um, to show that even though we are not all, we don't all believe the same, through Jesus Christ, we are all one body. Um, I have a story that I'm going to share with you, but um, what, before I do that, um, I'm going to ask my husband, Rich, to go and get um, some of our props for that story. And I'm going to go ahead and share our science um, uh, project tonight um, while he's doing that. Um, tonight, as we, um, you may see all these flowers around, and um, I wanted to take a white carnation, you see here, a white carnation, and to be able to color it, um, dye it with different dyes. And I had obviously uh, mostly blue and green and yellow dyes. And um, I had to start them. Um, these on this side I started at 2 o'clock. So they've been um, in the dyes for about five and a half hours. And this one up here was first to start turning at 3 o'clock. So it took about an hour. And this one was 3.30. This one here was at 4. Um, this one here was also 3.30. This one is a little lighter. So you can see the more dye you put in, obviously the, the sooner it turned and it will probably get much darker. Like this will stay a very light green. It didn't start turning until 6. This one here started at 5.30. Um, these ones then I didn't start till 4. And... Um, this one started turning at 5.30. Um, this one not till 7, but this one here, oh, and this one here at 6.30, so an hour. Um, and these two are um, about three hours, two and a half hours. Now this one here hasn't started turning at all, and I actually didn't have red, so I tried some red Kool-Aid, and it hasn't done anything. In fact, these had some red Kool-Aid, but you can't tell. You only see the yellow dye that I put in. So I'm going to try putting in some more uh, Kool-Aid. This is purple berry, and we'll see if this one changes at all. Um, uh, we won't know. I'm going to leave these overnight, and I'm going to put them in a vase, so I'll um, uh, show a picture on Facebook later on in the week of them. But flowers get water through the roots that are in the ground. Now the flowers are cut so they get their water here in these cups 
And so the water, which the dye then, goes up into the flower petals to make the color. Um, so if you want to try it at home, you can guess. Maybe if you do three or four, you can guess what time they're going to start um, turning color and maybe to see which ones are the fastest colors. Maybe guess which ones you think we're going to change the quickest. Um, and we're going to come back to these flowers at the very end. But there was a story, and when we look at flowers, we're looking at nature and things. There was a story of a man who had five sons, and they were always arguing and fighting among themselves. So one day, he told them to bring some sticks. So he gave each son a stick and said, here, break it. So the first son took the stick and he broke it. The second son took the stick and he broke it. The third son took the stick and he broke it. The fourth son took the stick and he broke it. The fifth son took the stick and he broke it. So then he said to them, bring me some more sticks and they brought them they brought them six sticks oops that one broke off and he said now he said take those sticks and try to break them some of the pieces are breaking off he said um let's set that one aside he says take those sticks and he said put them together some of these are sticks are a little wet, but he said, then try to break them. And each of the, the sons tried to break the five together. And the five sticks together, they couldn't break. And so he said, see, he said, sons, if you stay of one mind and unite to help each other, you'll be like this bundle, unbroken by any attempts to break it. But if you are divided among yourselves you'll be broken as easily as these sticks. So, this, as we think about World Communion Sunday and we think about our lives, we are, all, we are among different people who are different from us all the time, just like the different colors of all these flowers, and even some that are still green are different. They're colored just a little bit different. And so none of them really look the same. They represent the different cultures and nationalities of the world. So even though we are different, we are one body in Christ. We are together in Christ. And as in Christ, um, as we share, as we join together as a body united, then we're able to share Christ's love and to help others in the world. All these different flowers will come together and be one vase, one bouquet in a vase to make a beautiful bouquet. All of us joining together in Holy Communion, sharing the bread, sharing the, the cup on World Communion Sunday makes a beautiful body of Christ. So we're going to um, share our Bible verse one more time. Um, it's 1 Corinthians 10, 17. Since there is one loaf of bread, we who are many are one body because we all share that one loaf of bread. Let us pray. If you'll repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for the differences of people I know and help me to remember that through Christ we are one. Together we can do great things. Amen. Thank you all, and have a great night.